Radio TV students go behind the scenes with the Cincinnati Reds. A look at our schedule for the next two weeks. And prom royalty is crowned. All today on On, on the, the Air. Air. What up, RHS? It's me, Dante Redmond. I'm your co-host with the most, Houston Carver. If you didn't make it to prom over the weekend, then you weren't there to see Tori Mayberry and Hannah Deaton crown prom king and queen. Congratulations to both of them. Two other students recently had a great experience of their own when Derek Clemens and Brayden Whited were able to go behind the scenes with the Cincinnati Reds. You can see here I'm here at Great American Ballpark for a Reds Media Day. Every year the Reds hold their high school media days over a few games in April and May. Two high school students and their teacher from media and journalism classes can attend the game and get a tour and meet professionals at the Reds organization. This is my sixth season here with the Reds. Started out in 2010 and I really just worked from a seasonal position up to a full-time account executive and then currently in the, in the premium department. So I'd get to deal with a lot of our higher end clientele, ownership, corporate sponsors. This job is uh, it's a lot of fun. As part of the tour, the students get to be on the field for Reds batting practice, go behind the scenes of the press box, and see the technology of the scoreboard control room. Students also get to speak with the Reds Director of Media Relations about how to start a career in sports media. Anyone that's interested in getting in media relations, uh, specifically baseball, um, I would recommend that while you're in college, you work for the sports information department for the college, whether it's whether you work baseball or football or basketball, because what our specific job is in with the Reds is sports information. That's the kind of information that we put out. So one of the things I look for on a resume is our students who work in the sports information departments at colleges or who might have worked for a major league or minor league team. What I also recommend if you really want to get hired in baseball is learn Spanish. Um, that will get you hired faster than anything. After meeting the staff and taking the tour, students then get to take in the production of the Reds live pregame show and possibly even get on TV themselves. It was fun and informative day thanks to the Cincinnati Reds. I'm Derek from On The Air, back to you guys in the studio. It's Monday and that means it's time to take a look at the schedule for the next couple of weeks as we only have 16 more days of school after today. First up, AP testing starts this week so expect some students to be missing class as they go to take their test. On Tuesday this week, RCS holds its annual Celebration of Excellence where each school's Teacher of the Year will be recognized. Mrs. Johnson is the RHS Teacher of the Year and will be part of the celebration. It starts at 3.15 in Civic Hall tomorrow right after school. The RCS Teacher of the Year will also be named and that teacher has the chance to go on and compete for the Indiana Teacher of the Year. And tomorrow night, Miss Rayburn's ninth grade English students will be performing an original poetry at the Poetic Justice event at the Firehouse Barbecue Restaurant starting at 5 p.m. Also this week, student council will hold their yearly elections during fourth period. Teachers should hand out ballots either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. We showed you the names on Friday, so be ready to cast your vote for student and class councils then. I-step testing also continues this week with biology on Wednesday and Thursday, then a new English pilot test on Friday. Then on Friday, the freshmen will have their annual Graduate Together Assembly at 9 a.m. Then next week, AP testing continues and ECA testing begins. And we have one more concert next as the RHS Choir hosts their spring concert on Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. in Civic Hall. And on Friday the 13th, students with perfect attendance will be going to Kings Island that day. But the big event on the 13th will be honors and awards and the senior walk that morning. Now let's take a quick look at just a few announcements. This is the last week to check out books from the RHS library and time's running out to sign up for this summer's Read Health Careers Camp. The camp will be June 22nd and runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Students interested in a health career or get the job shadows in both nursing and allied health careers. There's no cost, but students must have a 2.0, be a sophomore, junior, or senior for the 2016-2017 school year. 
for an application and more information to your counselor. If you're looking to check out any books from the RHS library, remember that this Friday, May 6th, will be the last day for checkout. All books are due back by next Monday, May 9th. Speech team will continue to meet on Wednesdays. Also, the award banquet for this year's team will take place next Monday, May 9th at RHS. Please see Swingo to sign up for the banquet. That's your announcements. Now back to you in the studio. Time to take a good look at the Red Devil forecast. The weekend wasn't a complete washout as May started with some sunshine yesterday, but the first part of the week may not be quite so good. Highs today will only reach the lows to mid-60s because of the cloudy skies. Tonight, those same clouds will bring in a chance for some rain, which will stick around through Wednesday. Overnight, lows drop to, into the upper 40s for the next couple of nights, as things during the day stay in the 60s due to the clouds and showers. Make sure to check back with us on Wednesday to see if a whole week will, will be a washout. More rain this weekend. Let's check in with Ryan to see how many sports got some action. The rain canceled another event this weekend, but not everything got washed out as softball played on Friday night and golf got in a wet day on Saturday at Winchester. The girls started things off on Friday as they traveled to Anderson to make up a game that had been canceled because of rain earlier in the week. The Lady Red Devils had their offense going as they beat the Indians 10-4. Corinne Seiler got the win pitching a complete game for RHS and Alyssa Tilton added three hits while Jenna Wilson had three RBIs. RHS is back in NCC action tomorrow night when they play a doubleheader at Muncie. On Saturday, the rain put an end to the RHS tennis match that was scheduled, but the Red Devil golfers were able to get some play in as they traveled to Winchester Invitational. Evan Williams led the Red Devils with the, the second lowest score in the match at 78. RHS finished four, fourth out of 12 teams without their top player for the day. The boys are back in action tonight in Brookville, weather permitting. As for the girls' tennis match that was rained out, those will be made up tonight and tomorrow as RHS hosts Marion tonight and then tomorrow Arsenal Tech comes to the Tiernan courts to finish off the NCC three-way match from Saturday. That's sports. Back to you guys. On Friday night, the RHS Devilettes held their annual showcase night in Civic Hall. As we leave you, here's a look at just a few highlights. Have a great day.